Hey, what's up, guys? So today we are talking about Goodlitzville, Tennessee. We're going to be going through all the ins and outs of the town. We're going to talk about job opportunities, schools. We're also going to be just talking about different areas, different shops, that kind of thing. So if that's an area that you are interested in, stick around. We're getting to it right now. Hey, what's up, y'all? So welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam Haynes. I'm a local realtor here in Middle Tennessee in South Central Kentucky, and today we are going over Goodlitzville. All right, so if you're not familiar with Goodlitzville, you know a little bit about Goodlitzville. The one thing a lot of people talk about is that it's where the Rivergate Mall is, obviously. That's the biggest thing a lot of people know about it. But there's a lot more to do with Goodlitzville than just that, okay? So Goodlitzville is very well known for having a lot of beautiful parks. They have a great uh, antique district. They have great shopping and restaurants. And also, it's very close vicinity to Nashville. And that's one of the bigger things a lot of people like about it. So uh, I think first off, let's talk about the location and the schools okay all right so this is a different one so goodlitzville is part of multiple school systems because technically it is three counties okay so uh in city it's actually just sumner and davidson but if you get a little bit outside of the city where it's still technically goodlitzville you're in robertson county which that's more of the ridgetop area you can't google ridgetop or uh, some of those areas that are small, like Millersville as well, none of those will show up in like Zillow or anything like that. You got to look up Gillisville. Okay, so that's something to think about. So as far as Sumner County goes, you're in really good shape. So if you're on the Sumner County side, you're either in White House High School zone or Beach uh, which is in Hendersonville, and it is fantastic. Both those schools are very top rated, very good schools. Okay, and Robertson County, uh, you're either going to be in White House Heritage or you're going to be in Greenbrier, which are both very good schools, great school systems. But if you are in the Davidson County side, which is closer to Nashville, that is uh, first off, you're in Davidson County's uh, taxes, which does make it uh, more expensive to live there. Um, you are in Hunter's Lane School Zone, which I'll be honest is uh, greatschools.org shows it about two out of 10. So it's not the highest rated schools, but there are multiple uh, private schools in the area um, that if you don't really want your kid in a lower school zone, um, there is that possibility. All right, so next up, of course, we're going to talk about shopping. All right, so first off, obviously, I've got to talk about Rivergate Mall. All right, so as of right now, we're just hitting April of 2024. Rivergate Mall just was put on the market, okay? So they don't completely know what they're going to be doing with it just yet, but uh, I think they're probably just going to uh, renovate the mall and make it a little bit better and just continue having it in a mall. But they have uh, talked about making it like an apartment complex or whatever. So I don't really know what they're going to do. But uh, the one thing, a lot of people that talk about Rivergate Mall, they say that Rivergate Mall is trash. Rivergate Mall is not really even open anymore. And that's not true. Okay, so uh, I have been in there. I've been going to Rivergate Mall since I was a kid. That was like when I grew up in White House. Rivergate Mall was the place to go, y'all. So that was the place we'd always go down to. We'd always hang out, and it was a lot of fun. It was a blast. They had a lot of stuff, and they still have quite a bit. They have uh, quite a few openings right now. A lot of their uh, a lot of the stores are shut down, but they do have a lot of shops that are still working, still doing their thing. So um, not only is your regular, your Hot Topics, your Spencers, you know, all these other places that, that most regular malls have, they have them. So they have a decent food court. I mean, their food court is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, top of my head, there's like five or six restaurants in the food court. So, I mean, not a lot, but, you know, your typical, you know, pizza places, uh, Chinese, Mexican, that kind of thing, you know. So, um, yeah, that's about it. But the one thing I got to say about the mall, you know, you think about back in the early 2000s when you go to Opera Mills Mall or something like that in Nashville, you're not going to get the huge crowds that sometimes are most annoying. So, I say, honestly, in my opinion, 
um, Rivergate is actually a decent mall to go to because you're not going to get hounded by a thousand people. So I guess that's good, but they just don't have as many shops as they used to back in the day. So, but there is like, I mean, there's some cool stuff down there now. I mean, yeah, they do have like sportswear, uh, clothing stores. They have champs is still there. Like I said, hot topic and Spencer's, you know, the fun stuff back in the day. Uh, they even have one of the top jujitsu schools in Nashville is actually inside Rivergate mall. It's called the Academy. Uh, they even have a church down there. So it's kind of cool. And another thing they also have is they have a, a play area. It's uh, it's a trampoline park. They also have a lot of games and all that stuff. So it's it's kind of a fun, kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese type, but a little bit smaller scale. So uh, definitely, if you got little kids, might be somewhere that you might want to you know throw a party at. So something to think about. Also, when you're talking about shopping and everything, I tell you what, they have just about everything you need. They have tons of strip malls and stuff down here. Uh, they have uh, Kroger. They have Publix. Uh, they just opened a BJ's. If you're not familiar, BJ's is kind of like a Costco or a Sam's Club. And uh, it's like members only kind of thing. And it's pretty awesome. So uh, we're getting a lot of traffic down here because of that. I mean, it is. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of traffic down here in Goodlettsville. But just in the main strip of Goodlettsville, uh, right off the interstate, that's where it's really bad. But then... Once you get into the more rural areas of Goodlettsville, like in the neighborhoods and stuff, it's really not that bad whatsoever. So it's definitely doable. Um, you just got to think about that when it comes to going shopping, that kind of thing. You don't be going at three o'clock in the afternoon right after school's let out and that kind of thing. I mean, that's a disaster <laughs> waiting to happen, you know, so uh, that's just something to think about. All right. Yeah, so they really do have a lot of places that you can go, a lot of options when it comes to shopping. So that's really a great thing. All right, and don't think that they just have shopping down here. So they have tons of restaurants, a lot of, obviously they have the typical fast food restaurants, but they have tons of other really awesome staples in the area. So you got like Liz's Kitchen, which is a really nice like meat and three. They have Chick Fish, which I have, I'll got to admit, I've never been there before, but I've heard some really good things. It's got a really good reviews, So I definitely, that's in my plans. Uh, it's right off the interstate too. So it's uh, fairly convenient. Uh, I will say I wish their parking situation was a little bit better, but I hear really good things about the food. So I've got to check it out. All right, they also got Long Hollow Pizza and Pub, which if you are in the area, you know the pizza and pubs are everywhere, okay? So uh, they have one in Hendersonville, in White House, in Portland. They got one in Greenbrier now. Uh, it's pretty great. So this is, they try to keep it more of a local friendly, work with the local community, and uh, they are very good pizzas. They have really good lagers, look really good local beer and that kind of thing, and it's a pretty great place. So definitely check that out. Another place on the way closer to like the Ridgetop area of Goodlettsville is a fairly new, they've been around for, I say about two years. It's a New Orleans style restaurant called Lanyap and it is fantastic y'all. So it is one of the better restaurants in the area and a lot of people rave about it. The only complaint that I usually get about it is they close a little early. They close about 8.30. So definitely keep that in mind. If you're a night owl, don't be coming in at eight o'clock. So let's go in early dinner, have lunch, whatever. It's a great place. You got to check it out if you like that kind of food. All right, and last on the list is Fox and Hound Sports Bar. Okay, so this place has been around for a long time. They just changed names, changed owners a couple of times. So uh, this place used to be Bailey's, and then it changed to Fox and Hound. Actually, I think it changed to something else, and then it became Fox and Hound. Whatever. Uh, it's huge, y'all. So this is a giant place. Really good food. A lot of times they'll be showing the sports games, the UFC fights, you know, boxing matches, that kind of thing. And they have, uh, I'd say, at least 15 uh, pool tables. They have ping pong tables. They got the works, y'all. So it's a really great place. A lot of fun down here. Uh, definitely check it out. And that one is actually right next door to BJ's. So you can get some food in. Then after that, you can get some shopping done, then you get home. So it's a perfect win-win for you. All right, guys, if you could like and subscribe to my channel, every like, every subscription really does help build my channel and help me want to help you. So if you could smash that like button.
All right, and last on the list is Fox and Hound Sports Bar. Okay, so this place has been around for a long time. They've just changed names, changed owners a couple of times. So uh, this place used to be Bailey's, and then it changed to Fox and Hound. Actually, I think it changed to something else, and then it became Fox and Hound, whatever. Uh, it's huge, y'all. So this is a giant place. Really good food. A lot of times they'll be showing the sports games, the UFC fights, you know, boxing matches, that kind of thing. And they have, uh, I'd say, at least 15 uh, pool tables. They have ping pong tables. They got the work, y'all. So it's a really great place. A lot of fun down here. Uh, definitely check it out. And that one is actually right next door to BJ's. So you can get some food in. Then after that, you can get some shopping done, then you get home. So it's a perfect win-win for you. All right, another big thing that everyone asks me when talking about new areas is job opportunities, okay? So, Goodlessville definitely has tons of job opportunities. Obviously, I was talking about the restaurants, the stores, all this stuff, the uh, they have tons of stuff like that, which, you know, though as many as they have, obviously, with the mall as well, there's a lot of jobs, you know, here and there you can get. But they also have a couple of really good factories down here that produce a lot of jobs. Uh, first, that's Tyson Food Plant which I love my Tyson chicken strips. So I got to support these guys. Uh, also, I have a couple of friends that work there. Also, actually, the Dollar General Corporate Office and Distribution Center is in Gullitsville, guys. So this is a huge place. And they have a lot of employees and it is a stable for the area and they produce a ton of jobs guys so that's definitely something that you're thinking about you're not talking about going to the little bitty dollar general market you know we're talking about the actual uh distribution center and the actual corporate office of dollar general and that's a big difference yeah, another cool thing about Goodlesville, a lot of people don't know, is that they have a fantastic antique district. So a lot of people come from like Nashville or Kentucky or wherever, and they come to Goodlesville just to go antiquing. So they'll come down. Most of the antique malls are within walking distance of each other, and they'll usually park and just go antiquing for a couple hours, you know. So and they're all there's like I would say like four or five antique malls within a walking distance of each other. So it's pretty awesome. So definitely, if you're into that, you know, come on down, check it out. And one of the best things I feel about Goodlettsville is their parks. OK, so they have quite a few public parks. Uh, they have a few that are a lot smaller and then they have some that are bigger. All right, some of the smaller parks are like Brooks Park or Gateway Park. Those are smaller, but they're still nice. They're really good for like the younger families. And then you have parks like Pleasant Green Park that has like a playground. It has some shelters where you can do some events and uh, maybe birthday parties and that kind of thing. And they actually have a public pool. So it's pretty great. Another one that I like quite a bit, especially if you got little kids, is uh, Pea Park. So this one does have a really nice little playground. It has uh, some tennis courts, some uh, what do you call it, racquetball courts, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Whatever that thing. <laughs> I can't think of what it's called. Anyway, uh, they also have a, a fairly new splash pad. Okay, so it's uh, it's a good size splash pad. I mean, they don't have like the the big ship and that kind of thing that they have in, in the White House splash pad, but it's still pretty great and a lot of the kids love it. So definitely, if you got little ones, come on, check it out during the summer. But the biggest, the most well-known park in Goodlesville is, of course, Moss Wright Park. So this place is huge, guys. It's a 147 acre park. So, and it has a little bit of everything so you're talking football fields softball fields baseball fields same thing whatever soccer fields all that stuff i mean it has a little bit of everything like that and then they have all this green space so you can have picnics and they have events every once in a while like my daughter's girl scout troop that's where they usually go um when they do some events they do uh easter egg hunts and that kind of thing that's usually where they go because it's so huge there's so much to do i mean it's really awesome and the playground is huge, guys. So this is one of the biggest playgrounds I've ever seen. So the playground is gigantic. It's fairly new, too. So, I mean, they really maintain it really well. There's a couple different levels of the playground. And a little bit further down, there's just some swings, too, for a little bit of the older kids. And it's pretty great. And it's right next to uh, one of the bigger pavilions where they have, like, events and stuff. We come down here every once in a while, and it is definitely one of the best parks I've ever been to. 
They also have a dog park, walking trail, and also, if you're a history buff, they have Mansker Station. Uh, if you're into history, if you like that kind of thing, you definitely should check it out. They have tours every once in a while, and it's pretty great. All right, last on the list, I'm just going to talk about a couple more things you can do in Goodlettsville. Um, obviously, you're like 15 minutes from downtown Nashville. So, I mean, like if you don't find anything you can do in Goodlettsville, you're uh, you can go to Nashville and find plenty to do either way. But if you just want to stay put and stay in Goodlettsville, there's a few things that you can do that are a ton of fun. All right, first off is Range USA. Our range USA is one of the top shooting ranges in the Nashville area and for a good reason. It's not very old. It's very updated. It's all super clean, really nice. Uh, you can rent your guns and everything or you can bring your own either way. And uh, if you like shooting and having fun like that, it's definitely a place to go. All right, guys. So another cool place to go to is Music City Raceway right here in Goodlettsville. And this is a lot of fun. It's not like NASCAR. You're not driving in a circle for three hours. This is uh, drag racing, y'all. You can enter yourself if you have a vehicle that qualifies. And it's a lot of fun, guys. So you'll see a lot of these people that live their life a quarter mile at a time. If you know, you know. It don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. It's a blast, guys. So definitely come on down, wear your earplugs, and have fun. Another cool place to check out is 12 Stone Golf Course, y'all. So this place is great. So it's an 18-hole golf course, and it is awesome. So it's 60 bucks for 18 holes, and it also has option for nine holes. I think it's $45. And also, they do have a driving range, too. I'm not really sure what the prices are on that, but I don't think they're bad. There's like seven or eight bucks for, you know, 40 balls or something like that, you know. So, uh, the prices are not too bad. So, if you are into that kind of thing, come on, check it out. You'll have a lot of fun. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it with the video. If you like what you saw or if you just have any questions at all about Goodlettsville or the surrounding areas, please feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. But until the next time, see you later.